I hate to choose. Or more specifically, I hate to choose between two things I love. So our next storyteller can relate. Please welcome to the stage, Glenn Fernandez. I am an emergency room doctor. <laughs> also, I'm an opera singer. I've been asked many questions about the duality of this kind of lifestyle. Are you a singing surgeon? Do you sing to your patients? How has being a musician helped your doctoring skills? And I absolutely hated it when my professors in med school would use the phrase, the art of medicine. <laughs> Trust me, if I ever have to put a tube in your chest to fix a collapsed lung, you do not want me to get artsy with it. <laughs> so why do these questions annoy me? Because as both a physician and a professional artist, I can tell you that these two fields have almost nothing in common. It's a nice poetic idea that these two very opposing worlds can somehow thrive when pushed together. But I've spent many years attempting to create an amalgamation for art and medicine. I found that it doesn't work for me. And I've tried in the past. Tulane School of Medicine actively seeks students that have an artistic side. I did the usual things one would expect to prepare for their med school interview, but I also did a little extra. I prepared a song to perform, I Have Dreamed from The King and I. <laughs> I nailed the audition and was accepted into med school. Throughout med school, I thought I would be able to discover some secret alchemical formula for combining the two worlds of music and medicine that would lead to some kind of revelation for humanity. 
but that never happened. <laughs> I finally realized during my ER residency during Sh in Shreveport, Louisiana, that music and medicine for me were meant to be two separate realms. After a long week of 12-hour shifts in the ER, I would look forward to the escape of my one-hour voice lessons. Shreveport Opera even let me sit in the theater during rehearsals for Cinderella after my shifts. Although my body was dead tired, my mind needed these mental breaks. I sang in the church choir at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in my spare time. It was such a relief to spend time talking about which hymns to perform instead of which blood tests to order. <laughs> Although I did find myself sometimes reflexively referring to the hymn numbers as bed numbers out of habit. <laughs> I would escape from the stress of seeing gunshot wounds, car accident victims, and dying children by traveling to that very separate world of music. During those three years as a resident, surrounded by the ugliness and suffering that one can only find in an emergency room, I was so stressed. <laughs> also, I had this scary feeling that I was wasting time being away from the music world. I was terrified that at the end of those three years, I would end up with a degree to show that I was an ER doctor, but I would have nothing to prove that I was still a real musician. And from all the death I've seen, I know that lost time is something you cannot resuscitate. So I decided to create a concert in Shreveport called Ave Maria. The concert was able to provide an escape for me and for that audience. It brought people together from the hospital community and the music community together in that one space for one hour. The program for that recital turned into my new album, Ave Maria, a collection of classic opera blended with modern instrumentation. So after moving to LA and working simultaneously as an ER doctor and singer, I'm now being asked a new question by the nurses and PAs that I work with. When are you going to quit medicine to perform full time? I realize now that while living the grind of being a singer-actor in Los Angeles, I need to escape to those 12-hour shifts. <laughs> <laughs> Where I don't have to think about my next performance or my next concert. I don't believe I would totally give up working shifts in the ER no matter how busy I get at singing and acting. For me, these two worlds will never merge. They must remain separate for both to exist. Without medicine, my patients couldn't survive. Without music, I couldn't live. Yeah,